Hey everybody, it's Two Starting With Love, and I'm back with another video. Um, just wanted to welcome back to everybody that watches my videos. I am grateful that you're here. Sorry if I look like a mess. I just woke up. Um, as always, I'm just shooting a video before I have to get ready for work, so sorry if my videos are becoming a little rushed. Um, but I do what I do. So today's video. We're going to unbox December's Boxy Charm. So excited. Um, there was, I've seen only two, I think two variants of this box, and they're both, uh, so, yeah, I, sorry, my eyes, yeah, I'm not fully awake. <laughs> I already kind of already opened it because I like to, um, kind of test the products, some of the products. If I have time, um, and so I'd be able to know how to review it and how I feel about it. Um, but I do love BoxyCharm now. Um, I'm so glad you guys keep, um, telling me I should have subscribed sooner, which I should have. Um, which I slowly do start to build my makeup collection. And I start to test new brands as well. Like the last BoxyCharm, um, I really love the, um... The palette and the dose of colors um, lip so yeah so this is what the box looks like um, for 27 bucks that's with uh, shipping tax um, and just the minimum of 25 you get you get a good amount I just don't know I don't understand how they can sell these boxes so cheap um, but I appreciate it so this theme for month, this month's theme is whimsy. And somebody showed me that in the corner of the these papers, what um variant I got. Sorry, I think about it. I'm not awake yet. So I got the third variant. I believe that's what that is down there. Whatever focuses. I don't know. It focuses on me. I see the little, like, circle thing. Um, but yeah, so we have one, two, three, four, five items in this box. Now, I was excited to get one of these products. Well, actually, all of the products, I guess. But, so, we're going to start off with this one. Because I am still learning about makeup, as always. But cleaning my brushes. Um, I made the mistake of leaving them in some water, and some of the wooden handles are starting to break. My fault, because I, I forgot. I left them too long. And so this is Aesthetica Pro Series Brush Cleaner and Conditioner. I really, really like this, that I got this. Um, it's going to really help me clean my brushes. Um, let me see, is it open? Glad these products are not open too. Um, it comes in like this clear gel. I don't think I'll be able to open this. It's one of those things where, oh, it has a little scent to it. You gotta poke a hole through it. But it's like a clear gel. And I believe you just put a little bit. Does anyone have directions? No? Yeah, maybe. But it's a powerful, gentle cleaner. And it conditions both natural and synthetic brushes, as well as makeup sponges. Ooh, it restores your brushes to their original luster and shine and prolonging the life of your favorite makeup tools. Oh, really? So it's a 2.5 fluid ounce bottle. If I really love this, and it's cruelty free? Mm, it's cruelty free. And it lasts for 24 months. Now this bottle retails for Twelve dollars. Oh, that's not bad. Um. Yeah, for sure. This is what I needed. Um, and I have literally like a cup of brushes somewhere. Um, that needs to be clean. Now the second thing. Let's see. Let's pull out brow bar. This is brow bar. Let's see who it's by. By it's a brow bar by Brow Makeup Kit. Or is it? Or is that brow bar? No, brow bar is the brand. Sorry. And this is a brow makeup kit. True brown, brown, yeah. So, ooh, that's what that looks like. 
even though it's not going to show because it's so mirror gray. So let's see. Oh, that's pretty. And see, you can see me more. Um, so there's three different shades. Let's see if I can open this. So, oh, there it goes. And see, it comes just like that. Oh, there's the little brown brush. Oh, it's nice and soft. They smell funny. I like to smell things too, but it should be fine. Now, this must be the brown. Let's see. Ooh. Ooh. That's a nice, it's a nice brown. See, I, I'm learning, um, I have not really played with my brows. I've done a makeup look and I put eyeshadow in my brows to darken them. Um, but this can be nice. This, you know, these, these are the shades that come in it. Um, hmm. let's watch it. Ooh, that's like the darkest shade. Uh, let's just do it right there. It's not really meant to be, I guess, swatched, but it tried. It's meant to be put on my brow. Didn't really come. That's what that is. Hmm. I'm gonna test this out. Let's see. This says, uh, let's see, style your brows like a pro with the ultimate brow kit design with two long wearing brow shades, brighten, brightening brow lift, sculpting mascara gel, angled brush, and a flat brow brush. Cool. So this is why I like BoxyCharm because I've never heard of this brand. I don't think if without BoxyCharm I would have ever thought to find this brand unless, you know, throughout other influencers i would probably be seeing it um let's go with now i saw this brand i don't even know c c8 c8 i don't know this is the brand this is the box all of these are too shiny to really show um sorry if i butcher the name and it's a marbled light and illuminating blusher Ooh. let's take a look at that Marble light. Add radiance and color in one simple step. Hmm. So this is the little packaging. That's that's cute. If you can see all my stuff behind. But let's see how do we open this. I always have trouble opening these things. Ooh, and there's a little mirror. Get a little mirror. But oh, I all smell like cosmetics. <laughs> that's really cool. It's I mean, it looks weird, like it makes you not want to touch it sometimes, but it's different. I, I've noticed a lot of brands are starting to be like multi-toned. Um, so this is add radiant, a radiant flush of color to your complex with marbled light illuminating blush formulated without talc. talc? This lightweight buildup formula has a blend of matte pigment and Finely milled illuminating particles. Hmm. And you know what? I are, I apologize. This one is retailed for thirty bucks. I forgot to mention. And this one's retailed for twenty six bucks. I don't know. I don't think I would buy, especially this for thirty six bucks. But if it really works, go for it. And then 26. So, yeah. Sorry. I just had a brain fade. Um, this brand is... Does not say... Oh, yeah. It's cruelty-free and vegan. And vegan. Let's see. It's kind of... It's like a hard consistency. Oh, but you can... I know. I You can see the pink. Should I put it on here? Should I put it on here? Not that you can really tell. Well, you can tell. Came a little pinker right here. Hmm. I don't really have much blush, but this is... Hmm, you gotta play around with this. I really want to create a look with this. I did create... My last box, I created a look. Kind of trying to use the whole box. Um. 
And I was thinking of doing this before I did this video, but I have two unboxings to, to um, unbox and record, so yeah. But this, wait, you know, all these products you'll see me use on um, IG or Instagram, whatever, um, or Twitter as well. So usually, sometimes I try to separate the two. If not, you know, I'll share from Instagram to Twitter. Um, so yeah. This one was, I believe, the item you got to pick, um, which is called Saturday Skin Waterfall Glacier Water Cream. Now, this is what I played with when I opened the box. Um, I love skincare. So, and this, if you go back and watch my re my recent, my older videos, you'll notice I used to review a lot of skincare. Just skincare products that I bought from drugstores. And, um, so this is Saturday Skin. So I'm, I was excited to get this. It's anti-aging glacier water cream that delivers mineral-rich moisture while protecting skin from free, free radicals and a fusion of ferments, amino acids, and plant extracts help calm skin while boosts vitality and suppleness. Suppleness, right? This was retailed for 39 bucks. Wow. But you know what? I think that's a good price point because I tried it. Oh, I opened it. Oops. Comes with one of these little. I like these. Just pull it off. And it's very um it's basically like water. It's very it's a gel like form. Um it's cold. But it's kind of like, so when you put it on, I probably should put it on because I used, I did it after I showered. So I still had moisture and then I just kind of rubbed it and it does feel a little like too jelly, but you gotta let it soak into the skin. Um, now honestly, I, I had like a full day of um, feeling moisturized by this. Um, Let's see how much how many fluid ounces. There's one point sixty nine fluid ounces in here. Um, it's a nice little uh, jar as well. And this is let's see, it's made in Korea. You know, Korea has a lot of good uh, skincare products as well. Um, and it gives you look at that that's that that glowing of my skin. Oh, what was it say? Maybe maybe it's just the lighting, <laughs> but it does. Though I feel like it it really does like just keep the moisture in your skin. Um, I used it. I tried it twice. But yeah, you place moisture in the palm of your hand. Use four finger four fingers to apply it on, on an outward circular motion by tapping the moisture into your skin. Yeah, this is, this is, I was so excited to get this. Um, dermatology tested. But yeah, this is, let me see, I'm just making sure I'm not skipping over anything. It's good for 12 months. Yeah, this little box is cute. And then this is like the little water aesthetic on the top, the water droplet. It's really cool. It's simple, but it's cool. Um, uh, to me it is. I don't know. Not to everybody it is. Uh, so that's this. This retails, did I tell you already? I think I did. Um, for $39. Yeah, I got it. I'm, this, I think this would be one of my favorites. Besides this, the so last but not least, my variant of the Story, Storybook Cosmetics. And it comes in bubble wrap. If I could take it out of the bubble wrap. Here we go. I got the Robin Hood storybook. Now, when I was watching all these uh, previews and unboxings, I was debating which one I really wanted. And they're both beautiful. The, what is it? Little Red Riding Hood and the Robin Hood. They're both very detailed. And now, like, then I feel bad because I want it Boxy Lux has the big storybook one. Ugh, makes me want to just buy the whole collection. I love fairy tales. 
Um, I, I love this box. Just the box warm. Even um, uh, Manny's uh, Moon, Moon Spell palette. It's shaped as a book. A thinner book, though. Um, either way, I love this book design. The, the sleekness. Um, it opens up just like a book. See, there's a little the final details. Let's see. Does this open? No. Shouldn't open. Uh, once upon a time. Let's see. What does it say? There were three sisters who never stopped believing in fairy tales. And they all live happily ever after. That's cool. Um. Yeah. All the ingredients are in the back. The. Uh. Made in PRC. Uh. 24 months. It has their uh, address or the distrib distributed by and their website in the back. But that's really cool to turn your favorite fairy tales into makeup. And even the spine looks like there's pages. Now let's let's take a look inside inside the palace. So you get a mirror and it opens up and it even tells you mirror mirror here I stand. Who is the fairest in the land? And even like this cover has a little design. Does this fold back? Oh, it does. What? Folds back like a book. And these are the shades. They're, you know what? I'm, I'm kind. I'm glad I got this because I don't really have, I mean, I have a few green shades here and there. But it's good to, good to have a little extra. Um, especially around the Christmas time where I want to create some Christmas looks. And I know I haven't been creating too many looks. Because I just, I work, I get, I, I work and then I come home, I eat and I sleep and I do it all over again. But hopefully, uh, within the next couple of days I will be able to do that. Um, so this palette retails for $35. Um, inspired by the classic tale. This storybook mini palette was created exclusively for BoxyCharm and is as beautiful as the inside as it is on the outside, which is true. We have combined stunning metallics and velvety matte eyeshadows to help you create your happily ever after look. Or my, in this case, my Christmas look. Um, so it's retail for $35. It's pretty. We got it. We have to swatch Merry Men. This is... Uh, a beautiful green. Oh, it's foresty. Let's see. I'm not good at swatches, but ooh, it's a little chalky. Could be me the way I swatch, but it's all it's it's there. Let's see, and let's let's swatch some Robin Hood. Ooh, that metallic. Ooh, those are beautiful. That's the brow shadow, by the way, if you don't remember. Ooh, look at that. There's a shine in that. And let's do... Let's do... They're just, there is some fallout in while I did that. I always, whenever I do that... Oops. I forget. My camera doesn't do that. There was fallout here. And I always when I always like to clean my palettes when there's fallout. But this gold, this gold, I gotta, I gotta try. Ooh, look at that. Oh. These are pretty good. Let's try, let's just try the, we tried both shimmers and let's just Try the other gold, the matte gold. You know what? My pinky. I don't know how to, how people do this. I can't do this. <laughs> uh, <whoop. laughs> that was a fail. Well, the yellow is somewhere there. Nah, it's like a mustardy color. I did it with my pinky, so it's not gonna show up that well. Um. See. Might as well do forest. Almost did all of the shades. That's like a dark, dark brown, um, foresty trunk color. 
uh, I don't know how people do this. It is, it looks like a black, but it's a brown. It is a brown color. And I didn't bring makeup wipes. Why did I forget? There's one more shade here. Nope, can't do that. I was going to do it like that. I would do it the yellow, but there's no. I mean a mess. Those are all the, not all the shades, but one. But this is beautiful. It is beautiful, and I cannot wait to make a look out of this book. And it's, let's see, and it stands on its own. <laughs> anyway, so that's today's boxy charm uh, review. And give me, you know, tell me in the in the comments which product. Uh, looks most interesting to you or you'd like to try or maybe you've already tried it and you um just give me your opinion yeah um these shades uh you know what i well i think the metallic is my favorite the green metallic that is very nice makes me want to wear it right now but yeah this is close to being wearing it anyway so yeah this is it for boxy charms when whimsy um theme box and if you guys want to leave me anything else in the comments i will really do appreciate it and i will read through them and reply uh give me a thumbs up and as well as subscribe and i'll see you guys in a little bit actually so and i might post these um uh videos back to back um or if not i'll wait a day but yeah we'll see about it anyways bye